I would like to use this possibility to give you an introduction about our company EP Engineering GmbH. As the name already says, we are an engineering company. That's how we started in 1983 by our founder Alois Erler. He comes from the technical field and wanted to use his skills, his knowledge to solve customer specific problems. From there we came a long journey and now we are a full service provider. That means we not only do the engineering, we also build all the machines by ourselves, make the software, the consulting, the commissioning and the calibration and service of the equipment. So that you as a customer can always come to us for, for all kinds of problems you have, either with current machines or with new inquiries. And this does not mean that the machine has to be built by us previously. So when you have a machine which, which you have some issue with it or you need a, a service partner to ensure the function, you can also come to us. We do that regularly. And we make also full updates of equipment which we did not supply it in the first time. But there is need of a new software. So even if we don't build the mechanical structure, we can build the software for it as a service. We have two main places. Um, our headquarter in Niederstetten. This is a very rural area in south of Germany, close to Bad Mergentheim, Schwäbisch Hall, and Würzburg. This is what most of the people know. Uh, and in China, Hangzhou. This is very close to Shanghai, um, round about one hour with the train. Um, from, from Shanghai main railway station. In both places we offer calibration. So this is a very attractive situation because we do the calibration based on the German national standard DAX for airflow. So that means if you have an airflow measurement device and you need a certification either for the airflow, pressure, humidity, temperature. We can do that in Germany and give you the certification. Or we do it in China and give you the certification. Both is possible. As mentioned before, we got founded in 1983. We are certified by ISO 9001, um, the DAX in both countries. And we are the processing partner of the PTB, Physikalisch Technische Bundesanstalt. Um, this gives us a huge competitive advantage. Thanks to this partnership with the PTB, we are able to have a huge skill set and a lot of knowledge in the airflow measurement and airflow conditioning. This is why later in other presentations, I will show you much more details about our standard equipment in airflow measurement. This is now only a basic presentation. I will give a basic overview of our company and there will be other links to other videos where I go into individual sections and you can decide what interests you in detail. Here we see the founding date, 1983. Then our um, constant expansion and till 1st of August we were still um, managed by Mr. Alois Eller and 1st of August 2018 he sold uh, our company to the um, investor of Dr. Fertig AG which gives us a huge advantage. Dr. Fertig AG had, um, has a similar size as our company but was already active with a subsidiary in China. And by this um, mixed possibilities and resources, it helped us so much to further expand in our markets and give you as a customer an even better service with this new people and new network. Here you see our certificate, uh, the ISO 9001 
and the airflow um, accreditation. And as mentioned before, our three areas. So in the test benches and measurement technology, we can build systems specifically to your demand. That means there is no supplier in the market. There is no standard solution, which you can buy somewhere. Then you can come for us. You show us what you need. We will design it with our people and communicate about all the technical details. And when you are fine with our design, we will build it so that your requirement is perfectly fulfilled. And as mentioned before, we do everything. So we don't rely on third parties. We do the software, the mechanical design, the mechanical construction, the building of it, the commissioning, the service. And this is something which is for Erle, for our company, really important. If we rely on third parties, you as a customer can have the risk in case of need that we cannot fulfill your demand because our third party is not able to help us, but because we have everything inside of our company, all the knowledge, all the skills, all the people. When you need a software update in five years, in 10 years, we made the software, we have the source code, and we can make this update for you still. Um, we have also not only the engineering components, but also standard equipment. That means many years ago we noticed some of our special engineered devices have a bigger demand in the market. They needed, there were other customers which wanted to have the same machine. And so we developed some standard components, for example, for high precise gas flow measurement. But about this detailed standard components, um, I will come to in a separate video. It will be called something like this. Um, then we have the engineering and consulting. Uh, there we support you. So we shouldn't build the machine because you want to build it by yourself, but you want to have the design or the theoretical consideration of the um, details. So then we do a full technical analysis. We make for you um, a technical report and you can build the machine based on it or you give it to a total other supplier and you ask him, please build this machine for me. Totally fine. We do the engineering and consulting for you. And now, last but not least, the calibration and service. This is very important, especially for you as a customer. Because when you purchase something from us, after one year, you need to ensure that the precision is still there. So your quality insurance department will ask you after one or two years, how do you know? that this airflow conditioning, airflow measurement machine is still good, is still in, in the range of, uh, of precision. And we offer our calibration service in whole Europe from EP Germany in Niederstädten and in uh, Asia with EP China in Hangzhou. We come, either we come to you into the factory with our equipment connect the machine to our equipment and make the checkup, the calibration, uh, or you send the device to us and we do it for you. And we send it back to you with the documentation. Now I go a little bit, um, I give a broad overview what I meant before when I said standard components. These are components which have um, a bigger need in the market. So for example, on the left, you can see a simple laminar flow element. This is a, in, a, in another video, we talk about laminar flow element, Venturi nozzle, um, a subsonic and critical Venturi nozzle. So what you need to know now is only, it's a kind of measurement device. And on the left, you see only the measurement device with a little computer for calculating the flow. Not a complicated test machine, not a complicated use case. It's a, it's a quiet, simple, standard airflow measurement device. You can build it in a machine or you can use it separately for determining the airflow. The second from the left is our airflow measurement bell. This is the bell pooler, the most precise device 
for airflow conditioning. Uh, this is needed for governments. This is needed for national standards. You can think about it like the, the kilogram or like the meter. So for the meter, you have a certain length and this is the master how you determine what is a meter. And the bell prover is the same. So you need the most precise equipment for your national highest standard and then you can go further down to institute to using standards um, to, to, to have deviation from the precision. But as more precise you are at the top, the preciser you are at the bottom. So therefore we have this kind of device. Um, the third from the left is for gas meters, uh, natural gas meters. Um, this is for household applications. So Every household or every industry park has a gas meter, which is measuring the um, inflow. And we build calibration systems, calibration um, test stands, so that you can check what is the meter measuring, but you can also adjust. So on these gas meters, you normally adjust the gears inside of each. And you make a pre-measurement, then you make the adjustment, and then you make a checkup if it's now precise. This, this kind of system. And on the right is very specific um, pressure cycle systems. This do special temperature curves or pressure curves in a very nice sinus shape or triangular shape or trapeze. I will talk about this in more detail in the video about our uh, pressure cycle systems because they are really really good and we are having a huge competitive advantage in, in all kind of these systems. We will talk about this later. On the next slide you see um, just the test bench and measurement technology what we use. As mentioned before there is something it's called a laminar flow element. There are critical nozzles, maturi nozzles, gas meters. Uh, we develop most of them by ourselves and we built most of them in our company. Um, in the section about measurement technology we will talk about this. As mentioned before, test benches and um, we, we have a general scope of uh, the medium air. So this is where we have huge competitive advantage. Thanks to our partnership to PDB which started already in 1989. Um, when it's about other gases, like water, oil, refrigerants, we are a strong system integrator. This means we make the development, we make the, the research, we, we make the design, and then we purchase subcomponents for measurement in our machines. And we integrate everything, put a software over it, so that you have a good uh, user interface, and a machine which is fulfilling your demand. Um, this can go in all kinds of, of depth and precision. It really depends on your demand. So when you have some requirement and you are unsure, can EP do that or not? Is this possible for EP? Just send it to us and we will tell you very, very fast if it's applicable in our range of of skill set and strength. Um, here we see our certification and our flow range, which we can um, calibrate in Niederstädten. Then this is 20 milliliter per hour till um, 10,000 cubic meter per hour. And on site it is 0 0.05 cubic meter per hour till 3,750 cubic meter per hour. The reason is really simple. We cannot transport the really small device and the really big device we can't transport on site. But uh, some spectrum in the middle, we have it uh, movable. We load it in our big bus, drive to your company, unload everything from the bus, connect it to your system and make the checkup, make the calibration and give you the certification after adjustment. And our laboratory in Hangzhou can go from 0 0.016 to 
to 6,500 cubic meter per hour. There, you need to send the device to our lab and then we make the calibration and send the device back to you with certification. And as mentioned before, in the engineering and consulting, everything in our production process, in our, in our skill set, you can either purchase the full skill set, that means you make an inquiry for a machine and we deliver it to you, or you can select one part of our um, possibilities, of our skills, and we only deliver this part for you. So, for example, if you need CE certification, this is the similar to Chinese uh, CCC, um, you need uh, approval of it. Uh, we do it for you as a service because all our machines need to be CE certified. Um, if you only need maintenance and service, because you, you know now that we have in Hangzhou really skilled people for service and commissioning, you contact us and our people can help you for, for this specific requirement. Um, it's better to contact one time more as one time too little. <laughs> and here we see the customized project management. It's another uh, slide for giving you an overview. If you want to check it in detail, just pause the video, look at the details and you come back to us. Um, I especially would like to focus or, or mention the spare part, spare part um, uh, storage for you. So again, you are in China, uh, you have a machine in China, but you, you don't want to handle the spare part management of it. Or you sell equipment in China and you need a service partner. No problem, you just contact us. We can store the spare parts, we can make small service um, requests, we can make small adjustments on the equipment and send it back to your customers. Just contact. And now we come to our software solutions. Um, I would like to focus a little bit longer on this slide because the software is actually really important. You, you can build the best machine from the technical side. When you put a bad software on top of this machine, you will never be happy with it. Even with all the possibilities, uh, theoretically, when the user interface is not allowing to to, to be able and and take the, and use these possibilities, it is it is useless. Uh, the other way around is quite interesting. So when you build a machine which is technically really not so good, and um, it has a lot of flaws uh, and not so intelligently designed, but you put a perfect software over it which looks really nice, uh, which functions really good, you will not notice it so fast, and therefore I. Software is something which you cannot measure. Um, technical details are quite easy. I want to have a flow form to, and afterwards you test, and the flow goes in this range, and it's approved. It has a tick. But how do you measure usability? How do you measure smart software design, easy to handle, um, good English user interface? <laughs> there, there is no proper way to either... You, you say it in every little detail, which we never do, or you just have to trust. And we, we do the software in LabVIEW, but we also offer other languages like SPS, C Sharp, and Wonderware. Um, we do the software since many years. We have all the people in our company, and by that, you have to trust us. Um, we are a special machine supplier. We build every machine differently. That means we always need to adjust our software with every single machine which leaves our house. We have a standard base, a, a, a standard uh, library, which we always use. We have always a similar user interface, but each machine comes with a especially adjusted software for our customers. And this is something you, you, need, to, you need to trust, you need to see, but at the end, a good software is needed in this field where we are working. And on top of that, we, like I said, we have a library, we have a standard, which we always use. 
And this standard is able to connect to our Android app. This makes it really nice to um, make service on a machine because you can do it alone. Before, one person needed to stand in front of the machine and work on the computer and the other person was walking behind the machine and was checking is the valve opening or not, is the light on the valve the indicator, is it green or red. You don't need this anymore. You connect it with your um, Android phone, you start our Android app and then you can switch on and off all the single valves and start tests or similarly um, without standing in front of it. That is very, very handy. And only one example why our solid base is so important. We, we benefit from it heavily. Without the base, um, if we would start every software again, there would be a little bit different. But when you bought one machine from us, um, which is doing, for example, a, a pressure test, a burst test, um, and then you buy another machine which is measuring the airflow. Even the two machines do totally different things. The software is nearly the same. You have the same structure and you feel you don't need to train your employees so much. You can directly understand how is the user management working, how is the test plan management working. Um, it's easy to adapt to new systems. And only I want to mention, of course, we also sell the software without mechanical equipment. So when you have a machine and you are really unhappy with the software, you contact us and we will make the software for this machine which we did not build. And then you have a good working machine with a nice fancy software on top of it. Okay, next slide is the reporting and evaluation. Um, here we built customized report for you. That means if you want to have an Excel export but already with nice graphs or, or in a protocol style so that you only need to press the print button afterwards and all the data is automatically inserted in the Excel document by the software, by the, by the measurement, by the data, we do that. This is, this is in our standard portfolio. Um, in, and here you see the user management which I mentioned before. And this is very, very similar to the Windows Active Directory. So you have different user groups. You have administrator, a configurator or, or um, organ, um, operator and the setter. And with this three levels of authentication, you have different rights in the software. So for example, the setter can make test plans and the setter can also adjust parameters in this test plans. The user can only make start and stop and print the protocol, but he cannot change the values. If you have now one user which should be able to also change some test plans, it's no problem to do that. Because like in Windows Active Directory, for this specific user, you can give specific rights. Um, and vice versa. So therefore, the, the possibilities of this uh, user management interface, it is huge because it ensures that, like on a Windows computer, the people which could by accident make a big mistake are not able to do so. And the administrator can manage these rights accordingly. Another example is the calibration with the calibration data. So our system is not closed. When you buy a equipment from us, we don't make any any lock on it so that you cannot change the calibration parameters or something like this. Everything is open. You don't need to call us for calibration. You can uh, you can call anyone else in the market and they do the service for you and you insert the new parameters in our software. What I want to mention here only is the user should never be able to change the calibration data because he could do it by accident. And then you have for seven months a system which is measuring totally wrong and you don't notice it because someone changed the parameters. Also the setter 
should not be able to change the calibration parameters because the setter is, is not um, skilled in this kind of area. M maybe in your company he is and then he, he has the white. But in general he shouldn't have the white. You can make an extra user, it is called calibration user or, or maybe the administrator. It, it is totally up to the customer how to handle this structure. And this special user can have only the allowance change of calibration data. But for example, not adjustment of test plans. Because again, if someone is changing a test plan, the machine will give you a green light, everything is good, but because the parameters are changed, actually it is not as you want to have it when it's good. And therefore the user management is really important. Here you see the database connection. We can directly store the data in your ERP system, Enterprise Resource Planning. And the data will be stored in the database. We can connect to whatever, you, whatever database you use, whichever. We can make export of CSV. We can make export of Excel. Depending on your demand, we can handle the acquired data and you can configure it and, and use it afterwards. And this is for data exchange. We have TCP connection. So here you see a little bit on the left uh, the strength of our um, library, software library. And it is going really in deep depth because of the history where we come from. The library is huge and very, very strong. And we can fulfill your requirement. You need to tell us what you want and you need to tell us um, what you want to achieve with the system, there are no, no rest re restrictions to the top. Here you see the fields where we are working in. So as mentioned, since 1983 and 2020, something must has, have happened. Otherwise, uh, how could our company have 80 employees and scale it up step by step? And what happened is, with our engineering capabilities, we started in the automotive sector and we supplied custom solutions there. And soon we noticed that there were many, many more industries which have a similar demand. Because the demand which we need is, I have a problem, I don't find a supplier for this problem and it's really complicated. If these three things are valid, we are the perfect supplier for your machine. And these three requirements are in nearly uh, in every industry. You find some projects where you need the EP skill set. And therefore, we are, we are testing in the automotive uh, so many components uh, of the car engine. Uh, in the aviation industry, we build special machines in the HVAC, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, in the household, in the... In the washing machine, we test pipes, we go to the pharmacy, we go to biochemistry. When there is an industry, we build at least one machine in it. Um, and pretty sure also in yours. <laughs> this was a short introduction to our company. Now I would like to recommend you to watch our image movie. We will link it at the end of this video. It gives a nice introduction. It shows you how our company developed. It shows you all the different fields of the, of the engineering sector, how we built your product, how we built this really nice machines and this really nice equipment. And it's quite nice to consume. I hope that you uh, follow some more videos uh, about, for example, how the different measurement systems work, what is the difference between an LFE, a Venturi nozzle, um, or you go directly into a nozzle test system, into the belt prover system. Um, just follow our channel and experience our skills. Thank you very much for your time and have a good day. Bye-bye.